I don't want to say anything, but boba kind of looks like like rabbit poop. <laughs> Big rabbit poop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
to try. Uh, it's butterfly pea flower. So. Butterfly pea flower. Butterfly pea flower? Yes! Wow, wow, wow. Love the mango. Well, yeah, I also fed him beforehand. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it tastes so delicious. Guys, I'm eating the mango that Love doesn't want. It's so good. I can't wait to drink it. If Love doesn't drink it, I'm gonna drink it. So we have a little dilemma here. Love is supposed to drive Papa tea, but he's not hungry. <laughs> and he's a little skittish to try boba tea so we're gonna change it up and if he doesn't want to try boba tea i'm definitely gonna try some boba tea oh no yeah he wants the tripod okay should i give it to him on the fork yeah. or okay oh look at that what? oh almost i don't want to say anything but boba kind of looks like like rabbit poop <laughs> <laughs> big rabbit poops. Like, yeah. Like big rabbit. He's, he's definitely it chewing though. it. Yeah. He's eating it. Yeah. You like it? Oh my gosh, he's eating the boba. Yeah, he's he's digging the boba, I think. Even more than the mango. Yeah. <gasps> he definitely likes the boba. He's getting the other one. <gasps> Ooh. <Why? laughs> he definitely likes boba. Yeah. He is oh a boba fan. Gosh. He definitely is a boba fan. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> the biggest flying parrot in the world eats boba. There you have it. He loves boba. Yeah, this is great news. So we can confirm for Guinness World Records, I guess, I don't know, um, that the world's flying biggest parrot macaw in the world loves boba. I mean, look at that. He is really going for it. So that's yeah, awesome. That's awesome. That's great. So maybe he's not a fan of the drink so much just because he doesn't like the liquidity of it. I don't yeah. know. Or the, the liquid sensation. Okay. Let's try the Thai boba. Yeah. So this one's Thai tea from Thailand. So let's see if he likes Hi. the boba from the Thai drink. Oops. You, yeah. He got one there. Let's see if he likes one? it. What about that? Yeah. He got two on that one. <laughs> yep, he got two bobas and one fork. Try this one. Get some more. Here, here's one. This is pink, purple. He went straight for it. Wow! <laughs> Good job. He loves That's boba. That's awesome. That's really cool. <laughs> Yay! Aw. So this is his very first time ever trying boba pearls and bubble tea in general, and now he's officially the only flying large macaw parrot in the world that has ever had boba and bubble tea yeah. and he really really likes the tapioca pearls yeah. so there we go Yay. brought it straight to you <laughs> the first ever <laughs> bubble tea drinking macaw so this will be like really interesting so all right love love boba i'm gonna start with this one first so okay the pink pea butterfly. the butterfly pea flower the drink. butterfly pea flower <laughs> wow oh is that nice Oh my gosh, this is so good. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, they, they do oh actually gosh, make really good drinks at Chalaboba. So, wow. Yeah, yeah. I love this. It's nice, got a good flavor. So, this is the pea butterfly. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's, it's the butterfly pea flower with butterfly some uh, green tea in it as well. Butter by, butterfly pea flower with green tea is amazing. Yep. And this has like a purple consistency, guys. You can see it's really, really good. Yeah. And if you Very put a light sweet. behind it, it's, it looks really, really, really cool as well. Okay. All right, so that was number one. Number one. So now this one is a mango of boba tea. Mango? Mm-hmm. Okay, stir it first. The boba come up. Oh my gosh. Mmm. See, again, someone who's only had wow. bubble tea once in their lives, now trying a variety of drinks and finding things wow. new that they really like about it. 
Okay, I was never like a Boba Tea fan. Now I am. Yeah. Oh look, now he's doing it. Oh my gosh, now he's doing he's it. He's actually drinking. He's putting his whole beacon with his tongue, and he's dipping in and getting it. <gasps> oh, let me see if I can get my camera. Let's try the strawberry. Look. Okay, so this one's a strawberry fruit tea bubble tea. Mm, it's all right. Mm, I'm not really my favorite, but let's see if he'll drink any. Will you like it? <laughs> Not his favorite. No, either. he wasn't sure about that He's one. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the same taste buds. <laughs> okay, maybe try this one next. Let's so try. this one is Thai, uh, thai iced tea from Thailand. Oh, I love chai. All right, let's try this. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. Digging that one? Mm -hmm. That one's got a lot of like condensed milk, evaporated milk, wow. a lot of different spices. Let's try this one. No, no, we don't have a taco about the straw. Give me the straw. Okay, try this, try. It's so good, guys. Guys, this is the bomb. I love it. <laughs> try You're gonna try it? Try the chai. He's like, no, I don't know about that one. He wants the straw. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try one more with okay. the straw. So this one is called Sala Cider, uh, well, no, no, let, let me explain this one. So this one's called the Pink Milk Drink, but not like the popular pink milk drink that you guys might know of. This is a Thailand uh, drink made from Sala Cider, condensed milk, evaporated milk, regular milk, and a couple other things. So it's, it's really, really good. They make it really nice at this place. So hopefully you like it. It's got a really unique flavor. Just alone, the coloring, and guys, look at this beautiful baba. It's like just artwork underneath, like, the little black points, this is alone like worth it just to like tune in in this video. <laughs> Don't you think? Look at this bubba. This bubba is like art. It's not just a drink, this is art. It's true. That's the way I see it as well. It, it is like art. Yeah, that's true. Right, <laughs> I'm glad she agrees. <laughs> <laughs> now let's try this art. Mmm. Oh my gosh. This literally tastes like pink bubble gum. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, so freaking good. Yeah, it is really good. That's one of my favorites. She actually showed us wow. how to make this recipe for this drink in one of my videos um, about a year, a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And um, it's really great and it's inspired a lot of people around the world to sell it in their own bubble tea shops. So yeah. Amazing, mm -hmm. look at this, this pink coloring. Like every single bubble tea, bubble tea, has its unique flavor and style and consistency and character. Yeah. I just love it. Yeah, 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 definitely. And he's yes. loving the straw. He's loving that little coffee stir stick. Oh, there. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, love, do you want to try the bubble? You want to try the pink one? You want to try the pink bubble? He's like, it's almost I have to give up the straw. Oh, yes. <gasps> awesome. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. He's the oh. Whoa. Oh. That is happening here. Okay, I got to oh, get this we one. We have to get a close up for that one. Yeah, there we go. I got it. This is full beak diving into bubble gum. He is loving this pink one. <laughs> he likes the bubba and the drink. Look at that. Wow. Let me get that. That one. was cool. Guys, love, love this bubba. This pink bubba. Look at that. He's diving full on in. Okay, now he's a little shy. Love, you want to do it again? Oh my gosh, look at him. Look how cute he is. <laughs> I love it, I love it. All right guys, it's official. Love's favorite bubble tea happened to also be Caroline's favorite bubble tea in this order. So it was the mango with the boba, the pink drink with the boba, then the butterfly pea flower, then the Thai tea, and then the strawberry fruit tea. But believe me, he was a big fan of the boba tapioca pearls, which is awesome. Yeah. How fun was that, guys? This is Kirsten, the bubble tea queen. She invited us to come collab with her and taste her bubble teas. And I love, I just love it. Love loves it too. And the funny thing is we noticed that my favorite was also love favorite. And love was very, very shy in the beginning. And then in the end, he just warms up and he just went straight into this beak. And this was so cool. I love this collab. So thank you for having me on your channel. Yeah, absolutely, thank you. And guys, if you want to check out Kirsten, the bubble tea queen, go check out her channel. I'm going to link it below in the description 
Guys, be just really, really sweet. Just go check out her content. She has awesome content. She's the first person and the first woman to start a bubble tea <laughs> business in UK. She's an entrepreneur. She's super smart, super sweet. And look at all these beautiful, like, uh, videos and bubble tea that she's bringing to the world to to bring goodness and value into the world to teach people about bubble tea and how to make them so go check out her channel go subscribe to her and i love you guys thank you for subscribing to me thank you for watching this content comment below what you think about love diving he's big into the bubble tea i think this one was his favorite the bubble gum because it was my favorite the best the best we say for the last. So thank you so much. We love you. And we'll see you next time in a new episode of Caroline One Petal. Bye. Mwah.